evaluate the line integral of dot product of f vector with dr vector where f vector is given and we have to evaluate this integral along the closed path that is shown in the given diagram that is this one and all these paths are mentioned in blue colored numbers that is first second third fourth fifth so we have to evaluate the line integral along all these paths right so f vector is given to us and because it is your x y z plane so our vector is taken as x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap right and dr vector becomes dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap now taking the line integral along the closed path so this is dot product of f vector with dr vector so it is x square i cap minus x z j cap plus y square k cap and taking its dot product with dr vector that is dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap so the dot product is x square dx minus x z dy plus y square dz right okay now along the path c1 that is the number one mentioned in blue color so along this path we are having this is your x-axis right and here y is zero and z is zero so y is zero and z is zero along c1 and dy is zero and dz is also zero and x varies from zero to one right so calculating the integral along this path now here y and z are zero and for that dy and dz these are also zero so we are having x square dx only so the integral of x square dx where x varies from 0 to 1 so solving this we get x cube over 3 0 to 1 so this is 1 over 3 minus 0 that is 1 over 3 right now along c2 that is this one now here what is constant here x is 1 right so this is constant and z is 0 so z is equal to 0 this is constant and x equal to 1 this is constant and here y varies from that is y varies from 0 to 1 so here x is constant that is 1 and z is also constant that is 0 so dx is 0 and dz is also 0 and y varies from 0 to 1 so dx is 0 dz is also 0 and we are having minus xz dy where x is 1 and z is again 0 so it is complete 0 the integrand is 0 so along c2 the integrand is 0 and y varies from 0 to 1 so this is 0 now along the path c3 now along the path c3 that is this one what is constant please check here here x is equal to 1 and here also x equal to 1. So x equal to 1 is constant. Here y is equal to 1 at this point also y is equal to 1. So y is also constant that is 1. And z varies from 0 to 1. So x is equal to 1. y is equal to 1. dx dy 0 and z varies from 0 to 1. So in this case dx is 0. dy is 0 and here y is equal to 1 so this becomes integral of so this is the integral of 1 with respect to z where z varying from 0 to 1 so this is z and this is 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1 now along the path c4 now in this case what is constant look x is 1 here and x equal to 0 here y is 1 here y equal to 0 here but here z is equal to 1 and here also z equal to 1 so along path 4 z is constant that is equal to 1 and x and y both are varying from 1 to 0 so z equal to 1 and dz is 0 and x and y both are varying from 1 to 0 right so along c4 
z equal to 1 and dz is 0. So here dz is 0. And taking z equal to 1. So we get x square dx minus x dy. So splitting these two integrals we get. So this is equal to integral x square dx from 1 to 0. So this is equal to integral of x square dx. And x varies from 1 to 0 minus integral of x dy. y is also varying from 1 to 0. Now because x and y both are varying from 1 to 0. Which means they are varying the same along the path. Right. So in this case I can take dy to be as dx. That doesn't matter. So writing dy to be as dx. So that is equal to x square minus x integral dx from 1 to 0 so which is equal to x cube divided by 3 minus x square divided by 2 from 1 to 0 putting the upper limit we get 0 minus 0 minus and then putting the lower limit we get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2 so that is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 which is 1 over 6 remaining the part 5 that is this one now the origin is 0, 0, 0, right? What is constant? X is also 0 here and at origin also X is 0, Y is 0 and here also Y is 0. So X and Y both are equal to 0 as constant and Z varies from 1 to 0. So in this case X is 0 and Y is also 0. So DX and DY are 0 and Z varies from 1 to 0. So here dx is 0, dy is 0, and y is 0. x is also 0, right? So it is complete integrant is 0. So the complete integrant is 0, but z is varying from 1 to 0. So that is equal to, we don't have to evaluate this, this is 0 only. Now putting all these values together, the complete f dot dr line integral along the closed path c is equal to sum of the integrals along the path c1, c2, c3, c4 and c5. What is the integral along c1? It is 1 over 3. Then for c2 it is 0. For c3 it is 1. And for c4 it is 1 over 6. And for c5 it is 0. So putting all these values over here. So for first it is 1 over 3, second integral is 0 and third one is 1 plus fourth one is 1 over 6 and fifth one is again 0. So this is equal to 1 over 3 into 1 plus 1 over 2 that is 1 over 3 into 3 over 2. So 3, 3 cancelled out we get 1 over 2 to be as a required answer to this exercise. Thank you.